normally it's Martin. Because I know these headlights probably never been out. I'm just going to get a screwdriver to undo that. Or you use your tools to the box. I don't know where this goes. Fixings down there, the bumper to the wing, right in the corner. Double T, I find the best. I like that. Screws back as well in, in the holes that way. And plus, see the other reason that I never I can tell exactly where that headlight was because it's marked there and there. Normally, what you do is go down it with a pen that way you know the exact position. This headlight is easily really cracked at the back.
this one's a bit of a sod to get to. I haven't seen one with factory. But I've seen it before. What's it doing here? A bit of a sod to get to. This one doesn't have to be that loose. We don't have to take this one out. I won't just have to undo it a wee bit. There's only three screws holding the headlight on. We'll be sitting. Here, quick, the other one's away. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's going to be a bit bad. Mm. Yep. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm not worried, I've got another set of headlights. Be caught in the rusty wing, you see. bumper but there's nowhere for it to catch. <coughs> the first one of these I've taken out here. Yeah.
Wait a minute. One at the back. It's supposed to be one at the back on that side. Broken down the bottom there too. I might add up it's broken before I start talking about it. Number two wants it. That might clip over the top. Also, bracket at the back there, broken. Bracket at the side, broken. I do have another set of headlights. But, to my knowledge, work. That was never that was never even tightened. Uh -huh. So uh, hey, well, some people don't bother putting things back. I wish I could get a water bonnet from it. But you want a lot of map in that. A lot of map in it. Needs cleaning now. We need my wire brush. Never again. Everything there. The same side. It's a bit annoying because there's another one on the inside there. Yeah. So. The other thing about these things, especially when the wings are like that. Is the wings like to come away with it. And what happens is it spins on the wing. I see me just putting them back on my 10 mil bolt. using a, a screwdriver I use a plastic I've got one in the house use a plastic to keep that they're 40 quid to buy new that one has a new one on it once you get one side the clips are already broken on this side They are supposed to just 
pulled off. There you go, see? They do just pull off, see? There'll be clips in them. There should be a wee clip in that. Goes in there. But as you can see, it's nowhere lying about here, so I didn't pull it off. And under here, you'll get. Right, back a wee bit. Back, right, see where the screw is? You've got that wee rusty screw. And it'll be the same on the other side. Same one here. But I'll have to put the side back on. Can't take the wings off without removing the bumper. You remove the wheel art liners, but it's extremely hard. I've done that before myself. Cooler. Now that needs spraying liberally with no, this is just rust. Oh. I'm just taking that off. up with the lights. Hmm. It'll open the close up with the lights. in a couple of seconds, okay? Screws that come out with T16s. That's the T16s removed from in there now. Um, and the only thing I can suggest is lubricate them well and uh, tighten them a wee bit and then slacken them. Because, like all the Torexes, They'll come out a bit like that, a bit knackered. Because uh, it's they're hitting the road all the time, eh? Uh, failing that, take a grinder to them, and then uh, get a set of vice grips when you've got the bumper off, and take them off that way. And then just replace them. I've replaced a few of them before, eh? Obviously, you see the car I've got over there. The next step for me 
now is to loosen off the three bolts and put the wings on the wings or the fenders as you call them over in America. To slap the bumper off to get the bumper off. Um, once you have the bumper off, I'll have to disconnect the fog lights. I never bother taking the fog lights out because as you can see the bolts, where the bolts are screws for the old fog lights in, are rusted. There's not a hope in heck of them ever coming out of that car. So uh, I never bother with that. I just leave them as they are and uh, just disconnect them at the back and pull the bumper forward. That's obviously once I had disconnected the bolts on the wings. This is really not that big a job. You could do it in the morning. Uh, the big, the hardest job is the, the, the wings themselves, where they fix the doors. There's a bolt, it's pretty inaccessible, but because the wings are rotten on this thing, I'll be able to pull the wings down and get to the bolt. Uh, and if you've got the same problem as me, and the wings are rotten, then you can peel the wing down. Once you undo it at the top, the wing will peel back like a can of beans. Feeling in my fingers with gloves. The gloves on. This is a personal preference of mine. I prefer to do the top and then the bottom and then the middle, but that's just a personal preference. Nothing. But a lubrication they can come just easy. I took a whole bumper off and scrapped it. I can't mind where it's for now, it's an empty. You just remove that wee screw from there. That's just a plate, it's on here. It's actually a thing if I remember rightly. It's on the bottom of the wing, yeah. But I have no idea what the state of the wing will be when I get this off, as you can see. It's probably I'll have a tap it with a mallet. That's a T25 that. Holding that the broken, and that was before I even touched it. Right. Oh, Wasn't me broke that.
mean. Push it in. Okay. Line back. That's always a bad See, this is the other thing that causes problems. Listen. Because it gets rusty. Mm. You get the stuff. And they were like to come apart.
the language box. You want to do my favour? Oh, there's no toilet for the game. It's just sticking my way. Your toilet's in that as well, is there? Mm hmm. Not getting any small parts. It's one of them ones. T25 or anything. <coughs> Watch your show.
two in the ball. There's two in the ball under the body kit. Have to move the body kit under. Right, this is a bit, you seen me earlier on in the video having problems with the bumper was stuck on that because of the rotten wing, a bit of dirt there, some, these bolts are all in, now, it's a screw to go back into that, the top bolts aren't really tight because I have to work on the shut lines, there's plastic there to go back in and I want to paint the inside of that, Um couple of wee jobbies just to finish off but and there's the old one uh, so I'll probably have to remove that because I need it but you can see there that the bottom of the wing was completely rusted uh, so and the bonnet's not right down like yeah and as I say the bolt's loose so I can uh, just sort it out Sort of the shut lines. Uh, it's just this one to do. So I shouldn't take that long. Uh, point card here is so obviously take all this out. Uh, I've got mine in the boot already. This one's not out of here, I'll have to take this one out. But when you go to release the bottom of the body kit, there's a screw on the inside here, and there's one underneath. Uh, small torics. Easy enough to do. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like.